Hello everybody, this is Dr. Porter Utley again. What I'd like to show you how to do in this screencast is how do you take your morphological data matrix and your molecular data matrix, combine them both into one large matrix and analyze those data simultaneously in a combined what's called total evidence approach. Okay. So if you remember from the last screencast, what we did was we created a, a folder on the desktop of, the, of my computer and you'll do the same thing on the herbarium computer and in that folder we have our molecular morphological nexus files we have the, the output files from Winklet and Nona for both of these analyses and then we also have images of the trees from both of these analyses saved into the super awesome folder so let's do a combined analysis first step is to open up Winklet and Nona We need to open up our morphological data matrix. Okay, and we also need to open up our molecular data matrix. The first thing that we need to do is we need to convert all of our molecular data into zeros, ones, and twos. We do that by going to view numeric mode so it tells you that it has substitute a, substituted A, C, T's, and G's with zeros, ones, twos, and threes. Okay. Now we need to combine these two data matrices, match the terminals by name, merge the matrices, and it's telling you, okay, you have a new matrix now, you have six taxa and 46 characters. Okay, So you've combined up here your morphological data matrix with six taxa and six characters mm -hmm. with your molecular data matrix with six six taxa and 40 characters. You say okay. Okay, so this is our new merged data matrix and the first six characters in this data matrix are morphological characters and the rest of those characters are molecular characters. So what we need to do is we need to do a simple analysis which is use all the default settings and boom we have our tree. I like to toggle all of my tax to the right, okay. but we, here we have our tree with our transition states listed on the um, on the actual tree. So now what we need to do is we need to save the file like we've done before. So we want to save our whole matrix. I'm going to save it as test combined. I did this before, obviously. And then I also want to go back to Enclados. We only have one tree. The length of that tree is 16. When you do a combined analysis in Winklet and Nona, it doesn't give you a, a consistency index and rescale consistency index value. You could do this manually if you wanted to, but you don't have to worry about it if you decide to do this for your project. So now what we need to do is we need to create our tree meta file. And I called it test combine. We're just going to save right over that one. Okay. And now we have our combined data matrix um, saved and our combined tree saved. So let's go and take a look at it really quickly. Okay. So if we go into the super awesome folder and we find the test combined tree, we open this up in Microsoft Picture Office Picture Viewer. We have here, you know, what our different characters are for each of these transitions, and then what is the character state change. Knowing that these characters here from um, essentially character 7 to character 46 are all molecular characters, and all the characters from 1 to 6 are morphological characters. And you want to make that clear to your audience in the legend for this picture, picture that, you, that you use in your in your uh, report. And that's it. That's how you do a combined data matrix. Thanks guys.